Hello everybody, hope you're having a lovely day. I've been back in England for about six months now, after my trip to Thailand. And there's so many stuff about Thailand that I really miss. So I thought I'd just share with you a few things that I really miss about living in Thailand. First thing I miss about Thailand is the prices. Here in London and Essex, everything is overpriced. And I didn't quite realise this until I lived in Thailand for a couple of months. My apartment, that was pretty cheap, didn't have a kitchen in it. So I was actually eating out every day when I was in Thailand. And I would go down to these little food stalls near my apartment and bought these amazing Thai curries, like literally the best curry I've ever tried. Uh, and they were around about 50 baht each. And that's, that's like a pound in UK money. It was pretty amazing, but really spicy. It's also really cheap to use their BTS train system. It's like the London Underground, but way better. <laughs> it's just everything's on time and um, it's really nice just to go on to use their air conditioning get yourself out the heat for a little bit these trains were so cheap that I actually used them to pretty much explore all of Bangkok the next one is something I actually really miss it is strawberry Fanta you can't get it in the UK I've got no idea why it's literally like the best drink I've ever tried in my life but I think I drank so much while I was out there I started to get a bit of a belly so if you, if you visit Thailand, maybe um, stick to one a week, maybe, or something. Not five a day, like me. Now, we can't really talk about Thailand without talking about the weather. So, the weather is another thing I really miss. When I actually first stepped outside the airport, I thought there was a big extractor fan blowing hot air onto me, because I was just not prepared for that type of heat. I, I didn't actually think that type of heat existed. It is mental hot, crazy hot. But luckily, if you're in a big city like Bangkok or some other city, you're never too far away from air conditioning. If you get too hot, literally just go into your closest 7-Eleven, there's one on every every corner, and um, just use their air conditioning. Or you can go pick up these awesome Milo ice creams, really cheap, I think they were saying like 20 baht, really, really cheap. Now on the opposite scale, we got thunderstorms and the rain. I really miss the storms in Thailand. You just don't get storms like that in the UK, at least, anyway. I, I thought I knew what a big storm was until I saw what it was like in Thailand. Literally, first time I was woken up by it, I thought the world was ending. They are absolutely crazy. The rain is so powerful, it's, it, it's all you can hear. But because it's so hot in Thailand, it's like one of the most refreshing things in the world. It really is amazing. And I'd, some nights I'd just stay up and just look at the, the lightning. It really is beautiful. Here's a warning though, don't stay out. Stay out in the rain, but as soon as it starts thundering, get back indoors, because, uh, yeah, that might not end well. Now, the people in Thailand are so lovely. I've, I've never had any trouble with anyone while I was up there. They call Thailand the land of smiles, and they really ain't lying. Everybody over there is smiling. I probably saw, like two people not smiling while I was there but they're just really really friendly people and they're always willing to help um, I find they, they really appreciate it if you try and speak Thai to them even if you're absolutely terrible like I am they they really appreciate it and just easy people to have a laugh with and yeah really nice people now I'm gonna be getting a bit gay now but for me personally the number one thing I miss about Thailand is gib gab I met this amazing girl while I was out there and she's just like my best mate. I really, really enjoyed spending time with her. Can't wait to go back next year so we can spend some more time together. So those are just some of the things I miss about Thailand. There's a whole lot more stuff that I miss but that's just what come to my head. I will be going back in March next year so I've got like three, four months till I get back out there and I'm going to be out there for a year this time. So. I'm going to be putting in a lot more effort to make some videos. I was a bit lazy last time. I'm going to try and get some travel videos going and stuff like that. So make sure you subscribe if you want to check them out. I don't know if they'll be... Yeah, they'll be all right. I'll put some effort in this time. I'll try. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. And have a lovely day.